Hi all. Today we'll look into importance of code splitting and lazy loading. Instead giving entire shipping entire code to the users at the initial phase, it's it's a good idea to give the code when it is needed. So like if an for example if a user scrolls based upon his scroll event loading the data would be very much good instead loading entire data. If he may use this or not, they're just loading him at the initial stages, which will increase the load time and it generates the traffic and the page would be loading, loading very slowly to him. So let's see this with an example. Like uh, here I have uh, taken a React CRA, create React app. This is a sample project. I mean, uh, I have created a component called lazy, co lazy loading component. It which returns an image from Wikipedia, a random image of React icon. The component name can be anything here. I'm using this component loading at the first line, uh, first uh, line, and I'm using when the I click this button, I'm loading this image. This example is without lazy lazy loading. Let's see this. What happens here? So at the initial phase, if you observe. So I think uh, it is loading from the catches. So let's open it again. Yep. And now if you observe, the code will come in this manner, like main.junk.js. So entire code would be coming in this main.junk.js like this. So the amount of data transfer is 1.4 MB and 2.7 MB resources was transferred at the initial stage. This is without lazy loading. Now let me click this load image button. So there was uh, nothing changed here. A bit of uh, transfer data was increased, but there was nothing changed much here because we have shipped entire code at the initial load itself. So let's implement the same with lazy loading concept. So in this example, I have taken a React hooks in modifying the state. So to implement the lazy loading in the React application, we need to import two things like lazy and suspense. What do they do exactly? Like here I'm commenting this import and uh, I'm importing this lazy loading component with lazy dynamically. So this is how we dynamic imports would be. So now I'm not importing this component when the app.js loads. I'm importing this component dynamically when it is needed. It means when the button was clicked. So, and we use suspense here because to get any of the component from api call or any any delay may happen to get to load the data to while we are doing the lazy loading there would be some delay to cover up that delay we'll use this suspense and we can show any fallback ui during this delay so that we can do with this suspense so we need to wrap our component with this suspense com suspense and we need to give a fallback property in this fallback we can load a component uh, which would be a valid react component i'm um, here i'm loading a just a div so this is a valid react component let's see this in action so the initial stage, if we observe, so the number of bytes was reduced compared to the earlier and the main.jink file has also been reduced. So if I load here, I'm clearing this and I'm loading image. So now if you observe, two junk.js was came. So as on when I click that, it was loaded, this junk.js. So this is called as a code splitting. So we are not giving entire code at the initial stage. We have split that in two parts. The first part would be the main dot jank, which will be available at the initial phase when it was loaded. And the second part would be coming when he clicks the load image button. 
so this is called code splitting we have split the code in two parts and we are implementing the lazy loading as on when the user needs that we are showing it so here we can see the loading symbol we have not seen the loading symbol this is because it was rendered very fastly to see the loading symbol we'll go back to the i mean fast 3g network here or here i will show now we'll be getting this loading symbol as well so you can see the loading loading uh, icon or text on the top here also this is a small image so the loading uh, delay may occur or not but in a huge image where the data is loading it would be very much helpful for the suspense and fallback ui to be shown so thanks thanks for watching